the surveillance photo from Jeffrey Epstein's first apparent suicide no longer exists. Considering Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself, it's not surprising because he was a... I think, yeah, he was an intel agent who basically was blackmailing the elites. So, the elites had to take him out when he got arrested. Like, officials at the jailhouse uh, Epstein preserved video because of a clerical error. Clerical error. So, basically, they're saying, like, the surveillance video from, out from outside Epstein, Epstein's jail cell and his first parent suicide was deleted. And apparently, the person who was on the case of Epstein's is James Comey's daughter. Yeah, that James Comey, the FBI director who was fired by Trump. And now is in his own uh, legal issues about uh, the FISA warrants. Ain't that some shit? It's basically the deep state protecting themselves. And yes, the deep state is real. It's absolutely real. I mean, they've absolutely exposed themselves after Trump won the election. It's basically like there's a two-tier justice system, like us and them. And they can basically get away with anything they want. I mean, like a lot of uh, anti-Trump folks, like a lot of the Trump arrangement centers folks like to share photos of uh, Trump with Epstein. Yeah, like there's documented footage of like Trump and Epstein and there's like a creepy picture of Trump kissing his daughter Ivanka. Well, I always thought he had it. I always thought that relationship was kind of creeping to me, I'm honest with you. But, yeah, I mean, they, but they never highlight his more documented friendship with Bill Clinton, who flew on the Lolita Express about 25 times. Twenty-five times. And there was a photo of Bill Clinton that clicked up with one of the sex slaves yesterday. And where was the mainstream media? Exactly. Crickets. Absolute crickets. And the sad thing is, like, there was a Project Veritas video that exposed Amy Warbot. Like, she was going to expose the whole Jeffrey Epstein everything but the media yeah but the media cut that off because they didn't want to like ruin Hillary Clinton's uh, election chances like this happened in 2016 like if they exposed Bill Clinton as a pedo then yeah exactly it would have hurt Clinton's election chances but her chances were hurt anyways because the mainstream corporate media doesn't control the narrative anymore. They, 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 they don't. I mean, the internet is just basically, basically cut off like their control of the narrative. And now people don't even believe that Epstein killed himself anyway. I mean, the, I mean, the big meme right now is basically Epstein didn't kill himself. You hear it everywhere. Like you see it on MSNBC. <laughs> I mean, like, I go to a lot of uh, comedy events in L.A. You hear, like, Epstein didn't kill himself jokes all the time. Look, look at Kevin Spacey, man. He's been doing some he's been doing some wild shit himself. Like, have you seen that video of Epstein, that creepy video, uh, talking about, I mean, he goes to his character uh, in the House of Cards, talking about killing with kindness. And then, yeah, then the guy was... Uh, suicided himself a couple of days after that creepy video like uh, someone who was about to testify on Kevin Spacey committed suicide on himself like yeah like he settled a sexual it's sad I mean it's, it's like two opposite systems of justice in this country and these cats are the main people voicing about, like, oh my god, look at this injustice, all this racism, all this bigotry. 
And Ricky Gervais put all that crap on blast. All that crap on blast at the Golden Globes a few nights ago. That's why everybody loved it. Because it revealed how big of hypocrites these people are. Basically how depraved and disgusting they are for... For for I mean I mean yeah for basically yeah yeah basically this like pedophile sex ring it's just disgusting I mean I mean I mean people will see pedophiles worse than racist I mean it's, to be real with you it's just it's sad like ABC had the goods and they killed the story because it'll make Hillary Clinton look bad that, that that's and that's pretty fucked up to all the victims of Jeffrey Epstein just because, I mean, one of the head people in ABC, George Stephanopoulos, was a part of the Clinton team in the 90s. So, yeah, he got the connects to cut this whole Epstein story off, which hurt their victims for the next three years until he got caught. And basically, what happened was like they had to take, they at least had to take him out because I mean he had the goods on all of them. But we'll see if there is going to be justice coming up for the victims. I mean, with the rest of the release, I mean we'll we'll see. Please uh, follow John Clem three one zero on Twitter. Please uh like uh like my, I mean if you like my video, please subscribe. I mean. I'm trying to bring a liber libertarian perspective in Southern California and spread throughout the internet world. All right, peace out.